composing gloves here and today we are going to be talking about you guessed it we're going to be talking about compound intervals so we talked about how c is the base well not c we talked about how we started a note and go major second minor second major third minor third la 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 all the way up to the perfect eighth and now you are very familiar with that concept and you've memorized these intervals which is a really good thing for you now one thing i didn't say in the other one was that i did say this if you go up one note so if you go from c to C sharp, that is a half step. What I didn't say was from C to D. So two half steps is a whole step because half, half, whole step. So people will often talk about moving in whole steps and moving in half steps. Important thing to know. Okay, now moving on to things past the perfect eighth. So if we, if we, last time I said if once we reach this eighth, we could form the same intervals, which is true, using this one as our base. So we could go from this C and go minor, second, major, second, minor, third, major, third, la, 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 all the way up. But here, what if we kept this as our base and this was the result? Well, you just add new numbers. You just keep the same minor, major relationship and you go up. You will probably, you could theoretically keep going, but the most, the highest you'll probably ever do an extension of without really seeing it as a new root position being added. So when, whenever you do this, it's called a chord extension. So you're using the extension, you're extending out the intervals that you have. So they're also called compound intervals. So just, there's bigger intervals. So we have names for them because some of them are just so common. So we have, they're commonly seen as separate chords because there's a point where they're just a C major stacked on a C major. And yeah, sure, you could call it like a, a stacked with these intervals, like an eighth and a, what is that? 10, 11th and la la la. You could do that, but they're just, just is more complicated than it needs to be. So anyways, let's talk about this. So we have eight. Well, if we go up one note, then we have a ninth. A, uh, so I guess... We have a ninth, minor ninth, major ninth, minor tenth, major tenth. And remember, technically, this needs to be a flat for it to be a tenth because only then are there actually, it's actually a tenth away. This, this sharp thing is technically an augmented ninth, which is weird. And you wouldn't use this, at least... You try to avoid it. It wouldn't it wouldn't appear in most of the chords you use. It can appear and rear its ugly head in a couple situations, but uh, other than that, you'd much prefer to work with a minor tenth, which is basically just a third above the octave. So this is like a major third, only an octave apart. And then, well, minor third. This is the major third, so that's tenth. Then you get to eleventh, and now ninth, tenth. 11th and 13th are the ones that you will probably be reaching for but i don't really go anything past the 13th hardly ever and if i do i'm not thinking about it in this way the octaves that are the intervals that are really important to memorize are those first ones and then a couple you want to know your 10th your 11th 12th 13th and that should serve you just fine. I mean, those other ones you, you will call upon, but the circumstances or call upon them on, you won't need to like think about it as intensely. So that's the compound octaves. Now, why is this important? Well, I have a sound here loaded up. Let me come over here and just really quick demonstrate to you with a sound that I can actually like play. So here is a just regular, let me bring it up an octave. So we just moved up an octave. That's that's tra so I transposed. So let's introduce this term. So I just transposed, meaning I moved a particular interval up. And we haven't talked about it chromatically, but all of these intervals that I've been describing using these with these notes are chromatic. So when you hit, use every single key as you ascend, that's chromatic. So we'll talk about the chromatic scale later, but. So I just transposed up an octave. So that's the thing we need to be aware of. And now I have, here's the octave. Here's the ninth. Here's the eleventh. I mean, not the eleventh. This is the ninth, tenth. Yeah, that's the eleventh. I don't know what I'm talking about. Eleventh. And here's the uh, tenth. And so now if I omit the fifth and play the extended version... So well, how are these things useful? Well, you also have suspended seconds and suspended force. We haven't talked about this, 
but it's just basically at this point now with chords you're just combining intervals and we can use the stuff up here these compound intervals to create some interesting progressions So you can use all these sorts of things to create progressions and up here the melody I'm, I'm using the melody on this one so it's not theoretically in the chord but it forms harmony with the chord so it's kind of like the same difference and we're just using those intervals as tools to you know just create more interesting contours so they're just additional intervals just telling you how they're like stacked up and used if you have any questions let me know subscribe and have a blessed day